the essential feature of the absurdity of the 46-year era, during which the mental energy of a people was neutralized, was the paradox. It is a matter of a tragic paradox that led to an internal psychological emigration of the people. The fetishization of the utopian strategy gradually rose in the system. The revision of the spiritual life of the people in general and the castration of the intellectuals with the paranoia of fear and the mania of real persecution quickly led to an asphyxiation and the blind commitment to a Slavic borrowed materialistic, anti-human philosophy of a so-called far-sighted policy of isolation from the world that artificially created a people suffering from autism. It was precisely this destabilization, mainly in the consciousness under the hoof of pressure. This gradually led to the self-confidence of the self-made lie in the economic destabilization of the country. It was the identity crisis that woke up the revolt, waking up a people from their 50-year-old lethargic sleep. The motives from which the director and screenwriter of the film, Kuitam Kashku, takes his inspiration. The intensity of a government panic for a bunkering of the country against an imaginary enemy. This developed the director's imagination for creating mise and scenes with a lot of tense atmosphere and with a lot of tragedy and comedy in itself, characteristic of that quixotic time. The creation of social relations was solved in a coherent way and real truth. On the contrary, the relationship between the colonel and Anna sounds artificial because they are characters without a biography and psychologically diametrically opposed. Throughout the film, it is not at all clear what connected these two opposite natures, Anna's sensitivity and the cerebral coldness of the colonel, who suddenly, in a not at all convincing way, turns against his own red mentality without a concrete reason. It is very artificial how the fanatic colonel goes so far as to bring his wife a cake in the shape of a bunker for her birthday, he turns from a persecutor to the persecuted. Maybe that's how the director thought of the scheme. All these flaws of the spine, for the dramatic axis of the film, they fragment it by fading the emotional color. Although the director's attempt to stigmatize the absurdity of the time is felt. However, the film retains special values for Kuitam Kashku's creative courage to find moderate forms of figurative solutions in function of the idea that was the spiritual bunkering of a people by the totalitarian state. By Leon Kafzezi, Newspaper, Albania, August 24, 1997.